So sit back, relax, grab your smokable of choice, and let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to the sesh. Today we're going to be doing a Mod Loader 64 tutorial setup for you guys. Um, a few of you guys have been asking about it. I know there's one on the official Mod Loader website, but we're just going to bring it right at you. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started. So you navigate to the Mod Loader 64 website right here. Uh, it'll bring you to this page. I suppose this is the home page. They have a bunch of neat little information here for you guys. What we're going to be... The usual Q&A. So what we're going to be focused on here is the actual setup. Now, there are going to be a few things that you'll need in order to set this up. A few prerequisites here. All the download links are actually posted right here. There's no, um, not too many extra steps here. The download link is everything in yellow. <laughs> yep. And um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is download these two things. The... Uh, Microsoft um, redistributables, the 2017 uh, uh, 64-bit package library. That's VC++ plus plus 2017 by 86 runtime libraries. It is what he said, but that's what it, that's what he clicked. Yeah, it's basically the Microsoft redistributables. So you download that. And then we're going to download node.js 86 libraries. Yep, that's here. And then we're going to download the zip file. Yep, we need the zip file. Let's download that here. The zip file contains your actual mod loader 64 goodness. Yes, it does. Just save it wherever it is you're going to save it. And we're going to need these pack files, specifically yep. OOT Online. Yep, so these pack files are actually what makes the magic happen. Like the OOT Online pack, like you need this to play. Ocarina of Time Online, or the Majora's Mask dot pack, and then there's also the cores for those packs that you're also going to want to grab. OOT Online has the core with it, like, pre-built in, so you only need the Majora's online Ma pack. Oh, I gotcha. So, online dot pack. Okay, so it, d it brings you over to the GitHub for highly and modding. You just kind of scroll down a bit here, and right here it says OOT Online dot pack. That's what you want. Save it. Then you can go back. We'll show you all how to set up Majora's Mask online as well, since it's uh, the same process. Yeah, you can just download everything that's here and put them in there. This is for a game called Mischief Makers. I know a lot of you N64 fans out there love this game. Never played it myself, but now you can play it on two players or more. Oh yeah, it must be awesome. And then the Majora's Mask core is here. Majora's Mask dot pack. Save. Then you're gonna need the other one too. The and then you, yeah, and then you're. We actually need the mod. Yep. The assets are loading. At the top. Ah, oh, here it is. Yeah. It was loading. Next, we will be unzipping Mod Loader right. and starting to set up the file system for that. Alrighty, so we got everything that we're going to need. So we just minimize this here. Oop. <laughs> You're going to see that mirror mode. <laughs> you don't see it? It's the only zip file, brother. Alright, so everything is going to be saved wherever you saved it. It doesn't make too much of a difference where you actually put everything. Just don't put it in the goodie folder. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so you want to make sure you install the redistributables. You do that by double clicking and Microsoft agreeing. Visual Studio. So install. Uh, we got a setup fail. That, that's because we actually have it already. And you can't install it at the same time, but for those who 
don't have it yet, that's how you would install it, then you would go through yeah. the setup wizard. Yeah, just continue through the setup wizard if you don't have it already. It is important to install these things. And, of course, you would do the node. Right after. But a late... Yeah, so we have a later version already installed. You can also go to the Microsoft website and try to find, like, the later versions. I don't think that'll hurt anything. So we already have it installed, so we're just... And again, it. when you install it, it'll give you a setup wizard for that. Yeah, the, yeah, the setup wizard will pop up. Just follow it through, and you'll be fine. And now we actually unzip mod loader. So yeah, so you want to open up mod loader, or you can just right-click and unzip here. Doesn't matter how you do it, whatever Wait you like. Wait for it to unzip. Time will vary based on your computer stats. Yeah, it does not take all that long. Unless you have a real terrible computer from the Stone Age, then it'll take eight years. Yeah, mo most <laughs> most nowadays computers are not going to take very long to do this. Alright, so here it is. You can get rid of this so it's not clogging up your screen. So now we go in here to Mod Loader. The first thing you want to do when you load when you pop this up is actually go to modloader64-dui.exe. That'll be the this. actual mod loader application, and from there you can easily get to the different folders. Yeah, so when you run this, it will... Did it say bringing back Fat Hand? <laughs> it might have. <laughs> yeah, they, they have all kinds of neat little things that they have pop up on the screen, and they're super fun, and it looks like the default is Carl. I don't Carl know who you are, Weezer. Carl. I don't know who you are, Carl, but thanks for testing this. Hi, Mrs. Neutron. It depends how we set it up. We might actually put a Carl Weezer meme in there. I don't know. All right. Hi, Mom. So once this actually starts up, it's all just about ready to go. So all don't you close do... it. You can go to mods and hit open folder. Well, yeah, you can do that. Well, I'll show you this, and then I'll show you where it's at. So you can go right over here to mods, tap open folder. And then you can put everything in there if you want, but there's also the long way, which will ensure that it's being done right. Close that out real quick, the mods folder. The mods folder? Yeah. Close it. And then go into games tab, games tab, uh, games. and then hit open games folder. Uh, you can open the games folder here too, which is quite useful. And it's you'll be nice. able to drag and drop your, uh, your games in here. Although, I can't tell you where to get any of them. Yeah. Yeah, you'll have to obtain a copy of the game on your own. Uh, it is the wrong. It is none of our business how you get it. We do not want to know. And we do not condone piracy. Correct. All right. So now what you do is you go back into the mod mod loader master folder. So you open your mods folder. Go into the actual master folder real quick. Here we are. Double click mod loader. Mod loader. And then there's the mods folder right under emulator. Yep, mods is here. Double click it real quick. This is how you get to the mods loader. So yeah, the mods folder is here. And then you can go back to mo the mod loader folder. And then there's ROMs right there too below yep, it. Yep, here's ROMs. This is where you put your games. And then any Perfect. cores that you may have collected go here. All right. The cores go there, but if you're going to download any of the character model packs or emotes, they go into the mods folder. Yeah, they go in the mods folder. I will ex I will tell you this, you can create a folder in here if you want to like separate your stuff and that will show up over here. I'll show you. Just create a new folder here. Call it call it something. Boom. And if you come back over here and click refresh. Then it won't appear. Uh, you know what? It might appear if you put something in there. But you cannot nest a folder inside of a folder. It does not work that way. Do not try it. You will. Ha it, it just won't show up. But as of right now, that's clear and showing you how to put costumes and stuff in there. Yeah, so you can keep your things kind of separated. They will show up over here under little drop-downs under the first folder, but it won't show the second folder if you put another one in there. So just keep that in mind. All Anyhow. Right. Do you remember which one the core is? <laughs> so otonline.pack, I'm pretty sure... It goes in the mods folder. Goes, Yeah, it goes in the mods folder. Oops. Oops. 
So OOT online goes in the mods folder. Majora's Mask online. And the Majora's Mask dot pack. So the Majora's Mask online goes, goes in the cores in, folder. Is that the cores? I thought the online was the pack. That is the pack. So that's fine. We can put the other one in there. That makes sense. And then the actual Majora's Mask dot pack is the core. I was mostly just messing around anyway. Two above mods, bud. Mikey can't see with his glasses. And that goes here. Alrighty, so that's in cores. And then Mischief Maker Online Pack also goes in the mods folder. You put them all in there. Then you come down here to mod loader. And you go and back you to mod refresh. loader and you hit refresh. Boom, there they are. See? And all you do is you check them, you know, whichever one you're using. They don't work at the same time. Do not put all of them on. You have to select the one that you're using. Loader. Yeah, it'll crash mod loader. You'll have to reboot it. It's a whole thing. So one at a time for the online. Now, if you have costumes or something in here, uh, you can select as many costumes as you want and then use the costume manager when you actually boot up your game. Which we will not be showing you how to do that. And then this is for offline mode. If you select this, it won't activate any of the online features, but you can still use costumes and stuff, which is pretty cool. And mandatory if you want to set up a room to play OOT online with your friend. You're going to have to set up your own custom username and password and room ID. Yeah, so you set up your username and that'll show up, you know, as the in-game. And then this here, this is your room. When you set this up, this is actually how your games will be saved when you're playing online. And so whatever you make this, when you're playing with your friends and whatnot, you want to make sure that your rooms are the same. And then you can set up a password if you want to make sure that, you know, only your friends can connect. You can also leave it blank if you just want to leave it open. And if you click the eyeball, it'll reveal your password. Boop. Pass it to me. So that's pretty much what you need in order to actually set this up. It's pretty simple all in all. Um, if for some reason you're in the middle of setup or if you're playing and the the whole emulator crashes, you know, you re go to restart it, you get some kind of error message that starts every time you try to actually start this up. Uh, your best bet is to just, you know, do a clean install, unzip a new copy, delete your old one, you know, make sure you move over all your mods from the folder. And any costumes and stuff to the uh, to the mods yeah. folder. Make sure your cores are in there. Yeah, you want to make you just want to set up a whole new copy and delete the old one because at that point it's not going to run. It's just easier to set up a new one. And another known issue that we've seen with OOT online is that, well, I guess it also happens with Majora's Mask, is that your costume manager will disappear and never reappear, no matter how many times you open it. And the only fix that we found for it is to install a new copy. Yeah, that too. One thing I've noticed is that a lot of the windows will actually stay in the same place when you open, close, or reopen them, or even restart the emulator. So if you're using like a second screen or something, make sure you put them back on your on your on your first screen before you disconnect it. Otherwise, you could lose it. When it creates a little mini window when you open it, make sure to exit it out. Because if not, it'll shrink itself real tiny and put itself all the way on the right and make itself disappear and you'll never be able to touch it again. Right. Uh, so just be careful with that. I know one thing that we've we've done was create a copy of, like, mine and pass it off. So my guy created a copy and passed it off to my dude in order to fix the window issue. That is totally viable, too. That does work. Um, that... That was an issue we had when we tried to do it the first time here, and that's exactly what we did. So just some nice little things to keep in mind that the you know, video on their site does not tell you about. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If we know the answer, we'll definitely let you know. Alright. And as always, like we said in our last video, remember to follow Rule 10. And let's all have fun and play together! And, uh... Join the sesh. We'll probably play something good together. Maybe Majora's Mask next time. Oh, absolutely. That'd be so much fun, I think. Alright, guys.
We hope you take her easy. Like and subscribe. Maybe leave a comment. Tell us what you think. Later.